Hinahangaan ko sa telebisyon, sa dyaryo, sa mga pahayagan, sa internet, si Coach Tab Baldwin. At uh, maswerte po tayo dahil nung pumunta po ako sa Sinulog Basketball Cup uh, event, eh nandun po siya. At uh, ako po ay pinaunlakan niya sa pamagitan po ng pagtulong ni Coach Carlo Layson. Eh, binigyan naman ako ng pagkakataon ni Coach Tab Baldwin na magkaroon ng one-on-one, ng Q&A with him. Yeah, we, we managed to uh, climb that mountain three times in a row and uh, it's, been, it's been a great run for, for myself, for the team, for the university, our alumni. And, uh, exciting days ahead too. I think that uh, we have a strong team looking forward. So uh, we try to put those in the past and, and move on to the next one as quick as we can. Alamin po natin ang Kiwi-Filipino connection ni Coach Tab Baldwin ng Ateneo Blue Eagles. Well, really, it started when I took the role at uh, Ateneo. Um, you know, we know that there's a lot of Filipino players everywhere in the world, outside of the Philippines as well as inside. So obviously, with my connections back here to New Zealand, one of the first places I looked for Filipino players or expat players was here in New Zealand and um, yeah, I found some. I found one particular family, the Magdenberg family, that had three boys that uh, you know were all big boys. Their father was Dutch and um, so uh, you know I recruited. We ended up landing uh, both Patrick and Edward out of the family and they're both still at Ateneo. Patrick has one more year and, uh, and Edward has uh, five more years. So uh, we're excited about having these Kiwis in the team. We're excited about having Magdenbergs in the team. Si Patrick at si Edward Magdenberg ng Auckland, New Zealand ay naglalaro po sa Ateneo Blue Eagles. Although ang nakikita lamang natin si Patrick po no, nung nakalipas na season, yung number 15 po ang kanyang jersey. So tinanong po natin kay Coach Tab Baldwin kung si Edward ba ay maglalaro sa darating na season. We don't know. We haven't formed the roster. We probably won't oh. form the roster until June. But certainly he will be in the pool to uh, select our team of 16 from a pool of about 23 or 24 players. Alam niyo mga kaibigan, nung panahon ko, ay meron din akong mga UAAP players no? nakaklase nung nasa Adamson ako at nung nasa FEU ako. At uh, hindi ko lang alam kung uh, seryoso ba sila sa academics nila nung panahon na yun dahil bihira ko sila nakikita sa klase. Pero ayon po kay Coach Tab Baldwin, eh, iba po sa Ateneo Blue Eagles. Importante po ang academics. Yes, right? That's correct. That's correct. Uh, we, we as a university really pride ourselves on the quality of our degree and the fact that there aren't any compromises for athletes at our university. So, you know, they just like every other student have to meet the academic requirements of the school and the academic requirements uh, in order to play in the UAAP. Eh, ilang beses naman sila nagte-training o nagpa-practice itong Ateneo Blue Eagles? We train just about every day uh, for about three hours a day. Uh, we always have Sundays off and uh, oftentimes we'll have uh, another day off during the week but some days it'll be six weeks, uh, some weeks it will be six days and some weeks it will be five days of training. Tinanong naman natin kay Coach Tab Baldwin, ano ba ang pagkaiba ng Kiwi at ng Pinoy basketball player? Sure, uh, you know, everywhere you go in the world, I think there, the cultural differences of the countries are reflected in, in the style of play and, and in the way the players relate to the coaches and relate to one another. So there are always differences. Uh, both countries, however, are very physical in their, in their basketball. But the Filipinos, of course, it's a very quick, you know, uh, jitterbug physicality to it where they're bouncing off one another. And, in New Zealand, it's more spawned from the rugby background that many of the players played rugby when they were young. So there are more burly, tough, you know, hard-hitting type of physicality. Um, but I think the physicality in, in the Philippines is bred in the streets because there's so much street basketball. Everybody plays the game in the Philippines, whereas here it's more, I guess, institutional from, from the sport of rugby flowing over into basketball. At siyempre, alam niyo naman, pag basketbolista, whether player o coach, eh, sikat po yan eh. Nagiging celebrity sa Pilipinas. So, tinanong natin kay Coach Tab, paano naman siya, ano, paano, how, how does he handle his uh, celebrity status? Eh, tatlong beses nga, naging champion sa UAP, ang Ateneo Blue Eagles. Well, I think, I think you know, you have to understand that uh, the passion of the people is really the reason that if you're in basketball, you achieve some notoriety. 
And um, I, I don't think that I do anything special there. Uh, I just think that the sport is special to the people. So, you know, it's a byproduct of the fact that I'm involved in basketball and the teams I've coached happen to have been successful. So, you know, you're going to achieve a certain amount of celebrity and being well known. And, and I think as long as you understand the context of that, you know, you, you don't get carried away with it. I, I certainly don't think that I'm anything any more special than so many other people who live and work in the Philippines or, or live and work around the world. It just so happens that I'm in that cauldron of basketball passion. And um, so handling it, I don't think, is, is that big a task. I think sometimes some people mishandle it. Uh, but I, I think when you keep things in perspective and understand where it comes from, then um, it's, it's much easier to deal with. Alam niyo mga kaibigan si Coach Tab Baldwin ng Ateneo Blue Eagles at naging coach din siya ng uh, New Zealand Tall Blacks at ng Gilas Pilipinas ay tubong uh, Florida po yan sa Amerika. Pero tinanong po natin sa kanya, nakarating na ba siya sa iba't ibang bahagi ng uh, Pilipinas? I have. I've had a chance to get around a little bit. I've been down to Mindanao a few times. I've been to Davao and to Palawan. I've been over to Cebu and Boracay. I've been up north to uh, Baguio, and um, there's still many, many places, obviously, that I would love to see. I've been around the, you know, the Batangas and the Bulacan area, so, um, you know, I've seen a bit. There's a lot more to see, and, and uh, plenty of time, I hope, to still get around and see more. Coach, ano naman ang uh, paborito mong uh, lugar dyan sa Pinas? I love the beach, you know, and I, I grew up on the beaches in Florida. So Palawan was very nice and Boracay is very, very nice. But uh, I have a good friend that has a beautiful farm in Batangas where uh, he grows pomelos and dalandan and, uh, and coconuts and bananas. And I, you know, I love to go there as well. It's a neat place and he has some wildlife on the farm. So uh, it's a different setting. It's nice to get away from the city anytime. So, you know, when you have the beach, you have the mountains, you have the farms, it's, it's a, uh, kind of a treasure trove of opportunities when I get the time. Binanggit ko kay Coach Tab Baldwin ang uh, pamosong Santa Cruz Islands sa Sambuanga City. Sabi ko, pink sand o pink corals ang uh, nasa Santa Cruz Island. At sabi ko sa kanya, eh, hopefully ay uh, makabisita naman siya sa Sambuanga City. Yes, I've heard about that. And, you know, it would be great to get down there and see that. Uh, again, you know, like I said, there's so many, you know, little magical spots As we know here in the Philipp uh, here in New Zealand, the same thing. But uh, in the Philippines, a lot of them are, are tucked away. Maybe not so easy to get to, but you know, when you make the effort, you really enjoy the the, the, the trip and enjoy the locations. At siempre dahil bagong taon, eh, hindi natin maiwasan na tanungin kay Coach Tab Baldwin ng Ateneo Blue Eagles. Ano ba ang kanyang uh, New Year's resolution o New Year's wish? Well, you know, I, I, I've had for a few years now sort of a recurring wish, and, and that is that uh, young people of the world today, they, they see some positivity about the future. Uh, they see some opportunities in the future, and they pursue those with an open mind and an open heart. And I think we see so much division in the world today along so many different lines, whether it be gender, race, religion, attitudes, and... You know, I just really wish people would find more reasons to come together rather than finding reasons to distinguish themselves one from the other. And uh, maybe it's just human nature, but I think if there's anything that I could wish for the world that, that would enhance my life and my children's lives, it would, it would be that we seek to, you know, work with one another and help one another rather than find reasons to divide ourselves from one another. The Filipino Show, Ikwento Mo. 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 The Filipino Show. Y cuento más.